the world's fastest game. The world's fastest game. Relatively straightforward question. Question. So beautiful. Do you speak English? There was this, this female hovering over him. Sorry. You wanted. I wanted transfer forms. Girl? Yes, she was young, but girl wasn't the word that popped in mind. Besides, any word that had popped into Dave Murphy's mind would have been immediately drowned and dissolved in an acid bath of male secretions and bioelectric activity. Jeez, absolutely nothing in alt.binary.sex on the internet had ever prepared him for this. Are you coming? What's your name? Kate. Kate Libby. He's your class. She smelled of soap and shampoo and some distant eternal field of life and earth. The air was so thick with her he could taste it. You mean I'm, I'm not in your class? No, you're not in my class. Give me time. Hey, you know? Yeah. How about the pool, Kate? Pool? Yeah, there's an Olympic-sized swimming pool up on the roof. Take the stairs over there. Yeah. Oh, a fucking pool? Are you kidding me? Holy shit, I'm gonna check that out right now. Sure. I love pools, I love to swim. I'm gonna go check out this thing. I might go swimming right now in the middle of the school day. Oh man, I can't wait to get my eyes on this pool. Hey, wait, huh? don't let hey, the wait, door shut. Cool. 
Ah, we're stuck. There's no pool. No pool. There's no pool. This I whole came thing up was here a trick. to swim, and then ah, no just a bunch of nerds on the roof. I'm a high school student. Trick. <laughs> Get your hands on hyperspeed motion now. The ultimate weapons explode across the battlefield. This is Mega Truth. When you decide to step up to this kind of power, this kind of challenge, this kind of flying, flashing, feeling, when you decide to be serious, there's only one place to go. Surely one of the most fantastic features of this machine is that you can control the playback speed from the still frame through to slow motion and on to double speed. Life was great, and then all of a sudden, my whole life was turned upside down. What had happened? Movies called Grumpy Old Men. You couldn't pry them away from me. I get a little bitchy. Gee, you're losing bone. <coughs> Keels over and dies. Breast cancer, ovarian cancer, heart attack. It was overtaking my life. I have no sex drive, none. You're losing bones, <laughs> like that. Bones, plus you'll be depressed possibly for five years. This is an awful thing that's happening to our young women. Most of your friends are gone, they're dead. Usually your spouse is dead, some of your children are dead. I'm feeling awful, that's why you're feeling crazy, because you don't have grumpy old men. You'll have been grumpy for so many years, not about erections. What? Is this the life I want for another 50 years? How many teenage suicides? Okay, do I love talking about this? No. Marriage is breakup. Yes. Yes. Now here's the other thing. I don't usually sleep, but I watch Dr. Phil with this grumpiness. By that time, you're going to be so sick of him, you just hope he shuts up and goes in the corner. It's like dominoes. You can't take grumpy old men. You'll go crazy, literally. Now this is where women go, oh, I don't want that. All right, you don't have to have that. You, you're 83 years old and you have your periods. We've lost 90% of our life. We are the first generation that is going to live to the other side of it. Fly, drive get to grumpy old men if you can afford it save your money do without something most men think they're doing fine as long as they can have erections I knew a woman who died from grumpy old men it's the most horrible death I am now at balance all right what's up gamers all over again. <laughs> Have you driven a Ford lately? It's time.
get out of here now! Is everyone ready for my party? Yeah, 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 sure. yeah I guess so. I said, is everyone ready for my party? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe one day I'll be just as big as Madaga. Poodles with an attitude. Afghans who are in the brood. Here's a shoe. You can chew it. Soil the rug. There's nothing to it. I wonder what it would have been like to be the Phantom of the Dagra. It is I, the Phantom of the Dagra. If I were Dogula, every doggy would listen to me. I am Dogula! And you are under my power! Yes, Master. I'm under your power. I'm under your control. I'll jump off a bridge for you! Quick, Jonathan, the stake! What's that? The T-bone! The wooden stake! Here, Dogula, fetch! We're here! Let's play a game. Simon says bark! Ruff, ruff, ruff. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Lights are off. Oh, Just relax, no. every doggy. Hey, look, Don. It's a ghost. <laughs> Maybe we could tell ghost stories. Oh, <laughs> no. Uh, I'm afraid of the dark. Oh, well, that's nothing to be ashamed of. Every doggy's afraid of something. What are you afraid of, Afghana? I'm afraid that I won't be famous anymore. What, what are you afraid of, Toby? <laughs> Does that make you feel better? Um, uh, nope. Uh, thanks for the swell party. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. see y'all at work. It's dark out there, Don. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Whoa! With the power shoot of TS-8, you'll never run out of weapons because it's eight firing weapons in one. It's a rapid-fire rifle, a power pistol, then an air cannon, an automatic pistol, then a missile launcher. Never run out of weapons! It's a bayonet. Never! Then a stealth bomb and a crossbow. Never ever run out of power. Eight firing weapons in one. The power shooter TS-8, eight firing weapons in one. Can you hear me now? Good. Can you hear me now? How do you build America's Good. largest wireless network? Can you hear me now? Good. By never Howdy, folks. Oh, that's still on. Well, how's it going? I'm doing quite well. Uh, let's play more Metal Gear Solid. You know what? What's weird? Hold on a minute. Got to switch over to the other, the other thing. The uh, the like, the passive nature of this game sometimes makes me feel a little self-conscious. Just sitting here and watching a cutscene for like fifteen minutes. But I need to. I need to. Enjoy it as a video game vacation. Just gonna watch the intro again. Oh, Fargo, you've been playing Suicide Squad, huh? It's it was a fun playthrough, and yeah, I thought all the performing the performance aspects of it were quite good. Samurai Spartan. Oh, three years. E e Thanks for the subs. On Shadow Moses Island, an Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces, being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the It's interesting because the uh the big like the editing style of this is actually pretty contemporary for the nineties. So on top of, of like having movie-grade editing and, and cinematography. It's actually pretty, like, trendy. And the president of Armstead Most games weren't even competent at those things at this time. Being held as hostages. 
Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. It's like the, the flash with the, like, pew sound effect. That was a way to make boring things seem intense and, like, action-y. Approach <laughs> the disposal facility by sub. And then... You got a good deal on a mouse, huh? Man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, a beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. I'm thinking of cool video game insertions, which is sounds way more sexual than I mean it to, but Saints Row 3 had a pretty epic one. Charge of them. Foxhound squad leader. Just kind of thinking about, you know, of course, the parallels between this and Escape from New York. The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Hey, Casino. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one uh, peak. I saw you got a mission. Weapons and equipment, OSP. Yes. You got a sick Ops, gamer mouse? Don't expect any official support. I think four was the one where you were the president. I don't recall you being the president already in three. But I could be wrong. Sick. Yeah, the Halo Jump and Snake Eater is real good. Yeah. And that wasn't, even at the time, that wasn't really a thing in a film. I think there's a Halo Jump in Navy Seals. Um, and then, you know, Mission Impossible Fallout did like a fucking awesome Halo Jump. But yeah, uh, it's, it's fun to see Kojima wean himself off of reinterpreting, you know, movie set pieces and creating his own. Yes, I will read the mission log. So sick. Snake successfully rescues Otacon, but is shocked by the fact that the ninja he drove away is his war buddy Gray Fox. Discovering that Metal Gear has been developed against his will as a nuclear missile launch ing walking tank. Launching walking is a weird series of words anyway. Otacon offers to help Snake. Rooster in space. Thanks for the sub. Yeah, that's that's on my uh oh oh random disconnected series of thoughts. Uh Ronnie, you're asking where have I where I've been. Well, it's only been three days, but uh, but it is an odd amount of time to go without streaming for me. Um I've been doing I've been doing some work, some back end work. I've been working on some OBS upgrades and like general stream visual upgrade things. New stuff. New stuff. Uh, wait a minute. I was watching The Matrix for the seventh or eighth time and it reminded me of the gimmick Path of Neo gameplay for Funhouse and was wondering why you, the real Matrix hacker, wasn't really in it. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't produce that video. So I'm not the one to ask. Uh, oh yeah, there's that. And also um, for the Kojima emote. I need to figure out how to get custom emotes displaying inside of OBS inside of the computer that's an idea i have to tickle i got to throw myself at that a little bit i don't know what hoops i'm gonna have to jump through but i'll figure it out anyway uh launching walking tank otacon offers to help snake snake tries to meet up with meryl to get the detonation code emergency override key that she has according to otacon meryl is disguised as an enemy soldier cool you know what's odd on playthrough of this game again? Shockingly easy to die. I guess this was this was before games got a lot softer. 
Um, but I think, uh, I think the game like treats it like a climax and not necessarily like a punishment, you know? There's a huge crescendo of music. There is an especially overwrought screech. And then it's just continue. <clears throat> you know, roll, try it again. So I think even that, on a design sense, is a bit unique for this game, especially given the times. I think something like that is a lot more welcoming to throw yourself back into it and keep trying. Well, it looks like you've rescued Emery. Gotta call up my girls. Yeah, with that stealth camouflage, he should be able to hide safely. Gray Fox. I can't believe it. But the real problem is your niece. The way the codec got cut off like that has me worried. Something must have happened to her. You're worried about Meryl? Not exactly. It's just that she's holding the detonation code override keys. They're our last chance of stopping that nuclear launch. You're a cold man. Your mission is more important than the life of your companions. This is Ooh, Sith Pack. Survival is the name of the game. Thanks for the sub. You have to be cold to survive. Yeah. But mm. Snake. Either way, I want you to find Meryl as soon as possible. I understand. 13 year olds popping boners to Snake saying the stupidest shit out loud. This is war. This is Cyber Ninja. You just punched a Cyber Ninja. Didn't Meryl say that she's somewhere close by? Why don't you start by searching in that building? You're a real son of a bitch, Snake. What can I do for you, Snake? Be careful, Snake. Military sea rations place an e Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... I don't think there's any... I don't think there's any weapon lore that I haven't heard. I'm pretty sure Nastasha told me about the silencer. Otacon said that now it's possible to design and test new types of nuclear weapons in a virtual simulation without ever exploding a nuclear device. Is that true? I can't remember if I've heard this, but it's pretty sure I have. The establishment of Dart and Neef early in the 20th I don't remember century, Dart and Neef. There has been a wealth of data concerning nuclear fission and fusion. There is also much data accumulated from the nuclear tests conducted over the last four decades. With the processing speed of today's supercomputers, they can design a new nuclear weapon through virtual reality computer simulations. The PlayStation 2 didn't exist yet. Today's supercomputers simulating like nuclear detonations. I just joined and you said 13 year olds getting it up for this dialogue. You're forgetting the 35 year old writing this also. Yes. I mean, that's like. That's not a. It's tempting to look at that and, and, and like have it be cringe, but I, I don't know. I think it's focused like a beam. I think it, it requires understanding of the inner boner popping 13 year old to architect something for them that's also not entirely mired in its own boner poppiness, you know? It knows when it's popping boners and why, and it goes for it, I think. Have you gotten box lore? Oh, maybe not. In order to collect data- I think this is new dialogue though. They are doing it's like every so often when you hit a story moment, Nastasha gets a detonate high explosives another set of convos about nuclear waste. The chain reaction. They then measure the effect that the shockwave has on the plutonium. By measuring the particles which fly off the surface of the plutonium, they can learn the mass, speed, and distribution of the plutonium particles. The politicians insist that whether it is above ground or below ground, a nuclear test which does not cause a nuclear explosion is not a nuclear test. And oh, I remember that. Violate doesn't violate the cock and ball treaty. Okay, hold on. It's always funny. A cardboard box. Cardboard. A cardboard box usually consists of a thin pasteboard with a corrugated paper center. They are usually made of recycled paper. It was first invented in Europe over a hundred years ago. It was originally used to absorb one's sweat when wearing hats. 
With the same amount of wood to make one wooden box, you can make six or seven cardboard boxes. And since it's recyclable, it's highly economical. In addition, it's strong and easy to store. That's why it's widely used for packing. But to avoid damaging weapons and other delicate instruments when shipping them, they should be packed in stronger boxes like wood or something. Also, the crevices should be filled with styrofoam to prevent them from moving around. So, anyway, what's with the box? Oh, nothing. No big deal. Great. <laughs> the first... All right. We got some box lore. You can make six or seven cardboard boxes from the wood that it takes to make one wooden box. Isn't that exciting? They're lightweight. They can be recycled. Uh, the only drawback is that if you're shipping guns, which is probably the only thing Snake thinks about, you should probably use a stronger box. Yeah, the bit about it being used in hats to absorb sweat is really interesting. I really can't think of a lot of games at this phase that had comedy baked into the 3D animations of things. I was thinking about that in regards to Dragon's Dogma, how like people just move kind of funny. Um, I mean, I think Monster Hunter has a lot of physical comedy baked into it too, but you know, there's, there's obvious humor in like seeing Snake, just the manner in which he compresses into the box and pops up. He actually like folds in half. I never noticed that before. <laughs> Yeah. Little legs popping out. It's just funny. Mirror, mirror. So, okay, yeah, I gotta find Meryl. It's the... All right. Interestingly, that's like... That exact encounter is in Metal Gear 1. There's a few instances where you have to take off your gas mask to use a key. Ow! Right, right, right. So it's an amusing little troll. Uh, did I get a better key? I think I did. Four? Uh... Oh, I think I've done this. Or rather, I did this, but then I think I died. So why are they giving me stuns? Can you like knock Meryl out? I actually kind of, <laughs> I kind of did that in Dragon's Dogma. I had to do a jailbreak, but it really just involved me grabbing the dude and hightailing it. But it worked, baby. I certainly haven't gotten any kind of ending in Dragon's Dogma 2 yet though. I'm excited to try to poke around. Right. I go up a floor. At some point you have to backtrack to get the PSG one. And then there the there's those other rooms that are down the hall from the revolver ocelot room. <laughs> it makes a different sound? Her ass squeaks. Her booty her booty cheeks are actually clapping. One. That is awesome. Fuck you, dude! Uh, how dare you? 
Get out of here. There's got to be some Meryl Easter eggs. Well, if she sees you, she just runs to the bathroom. That's what I remember. <sighs> Unfortunately, all the other ways of interacting with her involve assaulting her. <laughs> I can punch her or I can choke her. Snake is not equipped with the, uh, the right tools. Oh, she's already in there. What was that noise? Maybe not. Oh, there she is. Uh-oh. gear. This game rules. I wonder if there's any piss-based dialogue. Disguised as an enemy soldier, huh? Well, even so, you should be able to spot her if you look close enough. Use either first person. Well, sneak in the... Does she interact with the box? So Meryl's... Huh. People who have been through war... Talking about gamer sense, we all know about that. That is amazing. Dr. Emmerich's father participated in the Manhattan Project? That was the secret World War II project responsible for the creation of the first atomic bomb. It had a huge budget, something like two billion dollars. They brought in one. Oh, no, I remember that, yeah. All right. Night, night. Nice piss. Whoops. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Where is he? Oh! Whoa! Oh, I don't have any... Oh, yeah, I used them all. Well, shit. Exactly what happened when SEAL Team 6 had to take down Bin Laden. I'm telling you, man, bathroom beatdowns. They're legendary. James Cameron knew this. Uh, Chris McQuarrie. Uh, the... just... Mar Martin Freeman? No. The guy who directed, uh, Casino Royale. Yeah, no place is safe, exactly. Fugitive Hunter Combat. So let's see here, she walked out here. I heard her squeaking. Let me just pop on the box. Oh, the one where Vigo has his dick out when he's fighting? History of Violence, I think? That's a good one. Can you call her now? Uh, I don't think she answers. Oh, Eastern Promises. Oh, never mind. If they ever do more than the Gunslinger in Dark Tower, there'll be a, a dick out fight.
Okay. She reacts to seeing you in the box. I think we'll ever see Bloodborne Remastered. I feel like if we were going to, we should have by now. Which... Just, just kind of like deducing in reverse. There's got to be something up with it, right? It didn't sell that well when it came out, but neither did Demon Souls and Sony remade that. You're getting the PG cutscene? Oh. What? Wait, is there a better cutscene? If you... Oh! Hello, Kasim. You've got to hurry in. Like, you gotta, like, chase her in there? How's it going, Cass? Well, oh, shout out to Cass. What was Cass up to? <laughs> there was a dick out fight in the Dark Tower series? Yeah? I remember Roland specifically, like, respected that a lot. This man would fight with naked. I'm just glad that recently there's been a, a huge resurgence and uplift of, uh, of of dicks in general. More proper representation of of, of flaccid wing wings on in cinema. <laughs> Look at his lies. <laughs> Elden Ring boss discusses Bloodborne remake benefits of waiting for new hardware. Oh, that's interesting title we hold very dear just as much as our fans oh i thought um sony owned bloodborne if it's up to fromsoft just doesn't really do remakes which sounds weird oh they do okay it like i can get sony like i can get that not being first in line when sony come wants to hit the remake free money button um it also doesn't build into anything if that makes sense doing Last of Us remakes or whatever kind of builds the Last of Us brand, which also has shows and shit. But if FromSoft doesn't want to continue Bloodborne, I don't know. The only other play is for, like, Sony to do a remake and then make a new one with one of their studios, but I also think that none of their studios probably want to do a, a Bloodborne 2. So I don't know. Um, also, that's not the kind of game... Oh! Damn it! Fuck! I was clicked off the game, so my gamepad didn't work. I gotta wait again. So, yeah. Sony's not that kind of developer, I don't think, anymore. At least I... I hope they still have room in their, uh... In their budget for smaller games. Hopefully Helldivers moved a needle or two for them. That would be good. Okay, so if she goes out, and she sees me again, and runs right back in, then I can chase her in there, right? Hey. Huh? Just a little box. Oh la la. Are those underwears? Don't move. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. You're Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. Look at her wearing pants. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart. Best man. line. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I've, I've been anti horny pilled. Zumbini, thanks for the Why sub. You You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, and guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that yeah, the logo from Metal Gear 2? You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? 
I'm just a man who's good at what he does, killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life, no ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Yeah, it's like a you blur effect. Happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, the foreground? You've got a great butt. Oh, I see. First, it's my. There's a couple of like physical oh, camera God. effects that this game manages to recreate. What's next? That would probably look really good on a blurry CRT. Looks pretty good so now. Snake, how are the negotiations going? No progress. You got a great so butt. It's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways: either we destroy Metal Gear, or we override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Did ladies' yeah. rooms actually have stools, or are those I'll just there to provide more texture for the background of the shot? You know, Whoa, I mirrors. The way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. Not like the other girls. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. Man, Meryl but I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where did you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Huh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. <laughs> the titty reload! Oh my god. If we go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. That's how she that's how she punctuates the, the sentence. The commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. God it's bless. The pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Damn, she pulls a lot out of that. Guarding someplace important. She's had two keys, a magazine. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. Oh. Gotta take a peek. Oh, it's just shoes. Okay. It's fine. We can we can get down there. Give him a big whiff. Yes, Ryobi. I, I intend to play through Alpha Protocol. Man. That game's special. One of a kind. Those are underwears. Uh, this is the PC version. 
Zoom beanie. The ultimate collection. Colonel, your niece is fine. Thank goodness. We can't relax. Not yet. I know. Snake. She's quite a woman. Master collection. That's it. I can't ask you to watch after Meryl, but duty first. Maybe I was wrong. Sending my own flesh and blood to war. She understands about duty. I know she does. But what I want to know is, what was the real purpose of this military exercise? I don't know. Like I said, I'm nothing more than a middleman. Is this transmission being monitored by the military? Of course. I get it. All the world's a stage and we're merely players, right? Yes, but even players can influence the play. I just hope we can prevent it from having a bad ending. Snake, go with Meryl to the underground base where they're keeping Metal Gear. You managed to link up with Meryl. Good. So now, you must have the card keys that will override the detonation code. Mm. You should hurry. The time limit is running out. You got it, Master. Master. That inner voice that warns you. Yeah, gamer sense. I know exactly what you're talking about. You found Meryl. Russo. When Dr. Emmerich designed a new Metal Gear Pro... She answer? No. Good stuff. Is there another cardboard box? No, ration. All right. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? Why would he hear the music? Like the game music? What? What is it? Kojima? What are you staring at? Come on, Snake. Ooh. Don't stare at me like that. Larry the pl Larry the Latipus. Thanks for the sub. Cozy vibes for a fellow Larry. What are you doing? We've got to get a move on. We got to we got to keep it together out there. What? What is it? And she's getting embarrassed. Just giving her the snake stare. What are you staring at? All right. Time for the Kojima test. Come on, Snake. Will the game recognize me staring directly at her boobs? Let's find out. Don't stare at me like that. Boing. I really want to hit the Tim Allen grunt. But I'm having to like... <laughs> what are you doing? Very precisely. Very delicately. Hold my gaze here. Ooh. With what? Impeccable what analog control. What are you staring at? Hmm. Yeah, she got them pixel nipples. Come on, snake. All right, I guess that's it then. No tit recognition. Not in this game. Snake, what are you doing? Let's go to the commander's room. Okay. Weird, I keep seeing encoding overloaded. Of all games, why would it be this one? Are you guys seeing frames dropping or anything? Hold on. Seems smooth? Yeah, what is it? This is being wacky. Interestingly, this is a process I'm going through behind the scenes. I'm adding some new graphics and things and uh they have to make sure that they don't overload the encoder just by being there. All right, weird. Ah, hmm. My head. Oh, it hurts. 
hearts. I like how she has boobs and has shown you like 10 seconds of vulnerability and that's all that's all the game needs to assume investment from the player. Also some hot moaning. Are you okay? Uh, oh, Captain, no, I haven't done the uh, mantis save hacks or whatever. It's fine. I've heard him before. <laughs> okay. Is he just, is it the usual Castlevania Suikoden? I think there was one other one. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. That's awesome. Grumpy, grumpy snack. Colonel, Meryl's acting kind of strange. Maybe she's just feeling a little tired from all the stress. Snake, do you hear something that sounds like a song? Yeah, I do. I started hearing it a little way back. What could it be? Hurry ahead, Snake. The underground base is to the north, isn't it? Snake. In war, a split. Meryl is acting kind of strange. It could be the stress of battle. I have a friend who had Chechen syndrome. He became depressed six months after returning from Chechnya and took his own life. He was forced to fight people who spoke his own language. People with his own culture. He couldn't live with the guilt of it. It sounds like PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. A lot of veterans returning from Vietnam suffered from that. In fact, many still do. Yes, it is also similar to the Afghan syndrome. In Meryl's case, it is probably a much more short-term condition. Try to cheer her up. She'll come out of it. Try to cheer her up? What tools do I have to do that? To cheer her up. Hey, look at this cool gun. Yeah, have you tried smiling? Check this out. Hold on. Back up a little bit. Yeah, I look cool, huh? Dun 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 dun. Oh, she turns to look at you. Don't I look cool, Meryl? Huh? I look cool, huh? Tactical. <sighs> Wait, it's not too late, is it? Hold on. Let's see. Post is deleted. You just have to add files somewhere and then it reads it reads it as being played. I had an option to create virtual save data. Oh. There's a oh. Create virtual saved data for past titles. Okay, is it in like the OS menu? Phew. Maybe it's in the top menu. Or is this from a different version? Save and restart the game. It's a feature in the game. Mm-hmm. Might be in the top menu. One. What's up, Snake? I never did fully get into Vampire the Masquerade. It seems like my kind of game, though. I'm still intending to play through it at some point. Mei Ling, you said that you wanted to become a pilot. Did you take an aptitude test? Well, I've got bad eyes. You probably didn't know it, but I'm wearing contact lenses. So you failed your aptitude test, huh? 
Yeah, it's ridiculous. We're not flying around in biplanes anymore, you know? That's right. Today's pilots fly jets that go several times the speed of sound. Exactly. At those speeds, the naked eye isn't that useful. You need sophisticated electronics to see what's really going on. So, is that why you developed your radar system? Yeah. I wanted to develop a radar system that would help soldiers make better, more informed decisions. So your radar shows what's really going on, huh? Mm, it depends on how you interpret it. Like beauty, truth is in the eye of the beholder. You can say that again. So deep. All right. It feels weird that those conversa- Oh, here we go. Edit save data. Add virtual save data. Holy cow! Interesting. Okay. There's a lot. Can say? Oh, poi poi? Poi poi. Oh yeah, Silent Hill. <laughs> 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. Yeah, whole Harry. He's got his base. He's got his like two by four and his radio. It's being old Harry, being a dumpy little guy. Oh, hey, Harry. Mixed news. Okay. Still recovering data. Refund is happening because the store is an administration. So they're trying to send me a 4060 Ti instead of the cash, which is their 300 quid. And I paid what I should be getting. Ah. Uh, holy shit. <laughs> I've had that happen before. God. You like spend money on something and the company's like, well, we're gone. Thanks for the money, though. I remember getting suckered into like some kind of tire replacement program when I bought a car and then I got like a letter in the mail a year later. It was like, uh, we've declared bankruptcy. Thanks for the money though. We can't honor, we can't and won't honor anything. <laughs> After meeting up with Meryl, Snake gets the detonation code emergency override key from her. However, she only had one of the three keys to stop a nuclear attack. One must deactivate the detonation code or destroy Metal Gear itself. Snake and Meryl head for the underground maintenance base where Metal Gear is being stored. According to Meryl, there is no way other than going north from the commander's room on the first floor basement in the nuclear warhead storage building. So cool. All right. That's what happened for me with college. My program was canceled after a semester, but also after they took my money for the next. Dicks. That's how they get you. That's how they fucking get you. My head. Oh, it hurts. They're always trying to get you. Don't come here, Snake. <laughs> It was neat when I bought a Suzuki and then they pulled out of the U.S. No way to get parts. Nobody wants to service them. What happened? I'm pretty lucky. The uh, Unfortunately, the the electric motorcycle I have, I think the dealer did close. But they sent out a, an email saying like, for service, contact this guy. So, nothing's broken. There's not a lot of moving parts. So hopefully it'll last a good long while. We'll see. Star Wars Outlaws says I play up to three days early with Gold or Ultimate Edition and it costs $110 and $130. What's wrong? This is how they're doing it. Oh, hurry, hurry. Make love to this is how they're raising the price of the game. I want you. Who's that? 
And I wish people would like... People seem fine with it just because they're getting they're getting snookered. They're getting swerved. Meryl's not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psychomantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. At the very least, even though they are charging $110 for Star Wars Outlaws, they are telling you that it's going to go on sale to $70 three days after release. The problem is, it's like, well, I resent that shit because as a streamer, there's a lot, there's like, there's an implied, you either have to make your peace with, with not getting on like hype bandwagons, which can drive a lot of viewers. <clears throat> so they're kind of, they're forcing us to do it too. Damn it. There's like more of a, more of a, more of a needling there. Yeah, I feel like content creators got to do it. Streamer tax. I guess it's not, <clears throat> it's not really the worst, right? All things considered. Boohoo, I have to buy a game early. It's, um, I don't know. I just resent it. I resent uh, being compelled to do anything. It is, it is tax deductible though, which doesn't mean it's free. I always have to like, I don't know. Yeah, and if you're big enough, you get access for free. Meryl's not herself. Don't use your weapon. It's Psychomantis. He's controlling Meryl. That used to be that Games Media, music. but now Don't influencers are kind of taking taking that slice of the pie. If you're a if you're a big enough streamer, yeah, you get early access for free. So if you're above the waterline. You get the benefit and you don't have to pay for it. And even you're enabled more. Like sometimes, sometimes there's exclusive early stream deals and shit that go out in waves and stuff. So yeah, rich get richer, but the truth is, and this is, this is, this is where I have to acknowledge that I'm not really complaining. I'm just observing. Uh, I'm lucky enough that I'm doing okay without having to like run on that wheel. I feel especially bad for people that feel like they need to do that stuff to grow. Like, the only way I'm going to get new eyes on my stream is if I'm one of the very few playing Star Wars early. And that sucks. Or if you're like, if you're trying to distinguish yourself in a content field and that leads to you buying a ton of microtransactions and shit. Trying to get rare gacha pulls or whatever. That really sucks. I got a free Dragon's Dogma 2 code from a stream, probably a dev in chat. That's awesome! Hey, that works out sometimes. Yeah, the nerds are going to easily pay 110 for three days early access and Ubisoft is going to roll in so much money. Yeah, I mean, they kind of have to. It's Star Wars tax coming and going. Ubisoft has to pay for the license and they're passing that cost on to you, the Star Wars fan that can't wait three days to run around in an open world game. Uh, I think it makes sense to me. At, at least I, I really, I, I just, I don't know. My skin crawls at seeing... Uh, perceptive tricks work, but that's marketing. That's the game. You can't hate the game that hard. That's that's the whole thing. It's just trying to get people okay with spending money for your product. Yeah, three days isn't that much. It's not the end of the world, but it's it's where it starts, right? And if that works, they're gonna they're gonna explore more, and they already are. I was for all the things to get upset about, like microtransactions is so 2010. Early launch window shit needs to be, like, I don't want to say that, that there should be, like, nerd anger about it. I'm just shocked there's not. Everyone seems okay with it. It's like nobody's told them to be mad about it, so they're not going to be. But somehow microtransaction anger from ten years ago is still simmering. Uh, okay, anyway. Yeah, seven days early access. I can't see Mantis. Snake. If yeah, Rockstar powers, decided to do an early access window Stop for a week, maybe. they could charge double, by him. probably more. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. Box art says needs internet to install. Ooh, it's all digital, baby. All digi, baby. Yeah, they're they're not they're keeping that money too. just being controlled. You're an expert at unarmed CQB, right? Stop her without using your gun, that's all. CQB. Solo Jorge, thanks for the sub. This is the first warm day in LA. <laughs> it's pretty toasty today. 
Yeah, it's still nice though. It's like mid 70s. Yeah. Meryl must have somehow been brainwashed. There should be some way to help her. Imagine if GTA 6 has a monthly launch for $1,000. Oh, yeah, they could. Uh, they could really wring people dry. I mean, honestly, Sony could squeeze people a lot harder than they are. As uh, as soulless and evil and greedy as, as it's fashionable to portray media companies. I think people are in deep in gaming. And there's particular bastions in gaming that have yet to get really squeezed. I do think I do think nerd histrionics have kind of held that at bay a little bit. But they're finding ways around it. And nerds are nerds are keeping are letting their eyes drift off the ball. They're getting upset about d stupid distractions, immaterial. Just because it lands in their particular zone. Hmm. Anyway, that's people, I guess. Definitely not. Definitely. Could she be drugged? Yes. Are you hurt, Snake? Nah, I'm good. Oh, oh, also, Bruce hit me up to play, uh... Bruce hit me up to play Helldivers, and it's been a long time since I've Helldived. I missed the whole... Queen the Snake whole Queen. arc of beating back the Automaton, so... I gotta get in there and dive. And that's actually gonna be pretty soon here, in like the next 10 or 20 minutes. But I gotta beat up Psycho Mantis first. choking her right now my first person view mode isn't working right you're seeing what he's seeing it's a result of his telepathic powers maybe you can use that to find him don't use your weapon my first person mode <laughs> <laughs> That's not your only trick. You... You doubt my power? Now, I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. No, there's no need for words, Snake. I'm Psychomantis! That's right. This is no trick. It's true power. Huh. It's useless, I told you. I can read your every thought. Now, let me read your mind. So good. Perhaps I should say your past. You're a careless man, aren't you? I guess I am, yeah. And you're a poor warrior as well. Okay, hold on a minute. However, you are skillful at eluding traps. Still don't believe me. Hey, Zazanizzle. Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. No. Ah, I can see into your mind. Vector Spaceman, thanks for the sub. So, you like Sui Coden? I do. So, oh. you like Azure Dream? You like Castlevania, don't you? <laughs> you like action games. You enjoy role-playing games. I see that you enjoy Konami games. Yeah. It's different now, Psycho Manus. I'm not gonna lie. You have saved often. You are a prudent person. I can read you like an open book. You still don't believe me? I will show you my psychokinetic power. But how? Oh, hold on. Put your controller on the floor. Put it down as flat as you can. Okay. That's good. Now I will move your controller by the power of my will alone. He can't. He can't do it. What do you think? 
What? No! His psychic blast! Holy shit. Ah! <laughs> Classic. Exceptionally good shit. Just throws like psychic balls, yeah. Can't do shit. <laughs> Look at me back there. He doesn't see me. Can't do a damn thing. That psycho mantis, former KGB psychic, he has powerful telepathic abilities. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, he came to America looking for a job. He worked with the FBI on several cases as a psychic profiler. Five years ago, he was working on the case of a multiple serial murderer, and he got too far into the killer's mind. As a result, he became just like the killer. Fully jokerized. Sort of infected by this serial murderer's thoughts? In any case, after that, he became a sort of psychic spy working for the highest bidder. He traveled all around the world. That's when he was recruited by Foxhound. He can read people's minds. He knows every move that you're going to make. What should I do? I've got no chance of beating him. There must be some way. He's a master at controlling people, Snake. Don't let him manipulate you. Yeah, Captain. Uh, in my more cynical moments, I've been tempted to, to say that people have overrated Metal Gear Solid specifically, but no, it's actually fucking awesome. <laughs> it's actually the best. The, the humor works, and I, I honestly think people resonate with that. I think some of it goes over people's heads. Um, maybe people thought it was a bit more original with some of its tropes than it was. But that's why they're tropes, you know? Not everybody needs a, a dictionary of tropes in their mind to fully appreciate things. And I, I think a lot of the things that are enjoyable about this are, are pretty surface level. Um, or rather, they're pretty broadly appreciable. Because they're well made. Not everything you see with your two eyes is real. Destroying his spirit is more important than destroying his body. Don't let him read you. Be a blank slate, okay? Clear your mind. Be stupid. Got it. Smooth brain. He read your mind with his psychic abilities. Somehow you've got to get around him. He's using his psychic ability to read your controller's moves. That's how he's evading your attack. You've got to do something so he can't read your controller's moves. Think. There must be some way. I've got it. Use the controller port. Plug your controller into controller port 2. If you do that, he won't be able to read your mind. I've got it. Use the controller Also super, port. like, not only is it a puzzle encounter that... That involves like action in the real world, but they also put in a failsafe of like the guy on the radio telling you what to do, which again super uncommon for the time. Uh, I mean, it's conventional wisdom would say you ought to do that if you're doing something that wacky, but uh, the fact that like players can discover that naturally if they're really stuck, they're calling for help, um, and as long as the dialogue keeps changing, there's an incentive to keep going back, and there's like a breadcrumb tr trail of Campbell leading up to just telling you what to do. So cool. Just in terms of design, ke keeps people from getting shaken off of the experience. You, more battle experience. you can do it, Snake. Yeah, it's not easy to have that foresight. That's something that like was outside of this era of, of game design, which is like more focused testing and observing, observing live players. This was, it was transitioning into that. People were starting to do more focus tests and things. But this was still from the era mostly of just developers playing their own game and then shipping it. It's true. Your enemy is a powerful telepath. But you've got more battle experience. <clears throat> you can do it, Snake. This 
psychic soldier, yes. Although they will not admit it, many countries have paranormal programs and use psychics in their special ops. Psychics range in power from those who can bend spoons to those who can cause natural disasters. But Psychomantis is one of the most powerful. Be careful. But Psychomantis is one of the most... snake no promises so i think there's yeah i think you can do it here yep you can just reconnect your uh your controller as p2 ah uh -huh. if the speed is set to fast you may experience some instability based on your own setup controller response speed that's really fascinating because i always felt like metal gear solid was a pretty laggy game um, it's pretty easy to forgive because it's a stealth game. But yeah, the inputs always did feel a little delayed, so I'm curious what that is going to do for it. I wonder what it means by instability. Dialogue now that I've implemented the trick. Got it. You oh, okay. The yeah, it's a Sadeo. <laughs> there he is. There's our guy. But Psychomantis is one of the Just most being a powerful. scamp. It's true. Your enemy. Is all right, all right, all right, all right. Got me with the marble busts. Classic. You mad? You mad? How do you do this on the PC port? There's just like a there's a like a shell menu that you can bring up to switch the controller port. Not very exciting. Or I think you could probably do a uh, mouse and keyboard. Whoa, accident. A little loose on the on the trigger there, huh? You are powerful indeed, but I know your weak point. Meryl, stand right where he can see you and blow your out. Ah! Stop, Meryl. It's true. I got it. Okay. DJ EC, we're not beating women. We are uh, subduing them for their own good. Mm. They'll thank us for this. Yeah, emptied about a third of a clip into uh, into old Meryl. She's a soldier. She trained for this. She's going to thank us for the scars later. Let's just, let's just 
going to make her look cooler, and who doesn't want that? Damn it. I mean, this is so weird. I should use the analog. cool to like have a boss fight where you have to use the enemy's perspective of you to know where they are because that's the kind of thing that only works in 3d no! what the fuck i don't remember him getting ragdolled back like that <laughs> colonel your niece is going to be okay thanks snake i owe you one now that mantis is beaten meryl's brainwashing should wear off right naomi yes but why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? Oh, hail to the York. I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Thank you for the oh, sub. Really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's Ow. true that Snake has killed a lot of people, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. So, can you use the other... I wasn't able to read the future. The strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. Yeah, ESPN. Thanks for the sub. I hope so. But I'll read your future. To get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. You have to go through that hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. The overland route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers. And use the tower's walkway. Why are you Those transition sound effects are so wild. So absurd. It's like swooshing and screaming just to like I have read the make it intense. Mr. Blue Sky, thanks for the sub. Of thousands upon thousands. And it works. Women. Oh, gross. And each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. Oh my god. That selfish and atavistic desire. To pass on one seed. So jokerized. It was enough to make me sick. Breeders. Every living sheeple. on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way. And that's why there is war. But you. You are different. You're the same as us. We have no past. No future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. Getting a little too real for Meryl. Whose mind I dove into was my father's. A little too dark and hardcore. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. Uh. My mother died in childbirth. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I 
just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen through evil. You, Snake. You're just like the boss. No, you're worse. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. I read her mind as well. Meryl's? I saw you there. You have a large place in your heart. A large place? Yes, a large place. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind before I die. I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. I'll open the door for you. If you want to find your future, go through that door. This is the first time I've ever used my power to help someone. It's strange. It feels... kind of... Get fucked. Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. Yeah. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Little snake pep talk. Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. So, tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone, just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on, let's go. Wee 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 wee. Oh, Meryl doesn't heal? Oh dear. Can I give her a ration or something? It's not like she's gonna get hurt anytime soon, though. Oh. <laughs> it tells you. Um, someone was asking, or there was discussion about... Meryl suddenly liking Snake even though she was conditioned to not have an interest in men. Uh, yeah, I don't- I don't think the relationship is con- like... Confirmed to be... Romantic. Wait, wasn't there like a... I'm just realizing, isn't there a part where she gets like, she's like psycho hypnotized and she's like, don't you want to make love to me or something? Sorry. Oh, and four, she talks about how she was all into him. Oh, okay. Yeah. That happened already. Well, there you go. Yeah, it's this that overloads the encoder. How weird. How is that? How is that more intense than anything else I do on the stream? Weird. I mean, it. She has such a boner for combat and soldiers. It makes sense that she would, she would uh, deify him, right? I mean, in police knots, she was just Lady Snake, basically. 
And then also it's pretty natural to like to do the math. Those are the only character tropes that can or can like stick. If she's Lady Snake, she can't be as cool as Snake. The audience has to and also like, let's be real, it's it's kind of a male target, so there has to be some kind of fatherly protectionism shit going on there. Um she has to be tough, but also need your protection. And that uh that's literally true in the boss fights, but also emotionally true in that regard too. But then also you're so extra badass that you're just like, Fuh, who cares? Don't give a shit. Yeah, whatever. I'm buzzing away on the uh Buzzing away on the ski do at the end of, of Resident Evil 4. Basically your your in-game character is not allowed to get laid before the player does. So that's the dynamic. It's not that they're it's not that he's an incel, he chooses not to have sex. Because he's a warrior poet. A chaste warrior poet. Just like gamers. Alright, Bruce is Bruce is waiting. I had to I had to sit out Is your tape on it? Belts? I had to wait for Kojima to to get it off his chest, pun partially intended. <clears throat> but it's time. It's time to join Bruce and uh, spread some managed democracy. Sounds of dying men enforce attention like deep harmony. Snake, people don't normally lie with their dying breath. I think he was telling the truth. Maybe you should believe him. Don't give up. I won't give up, but I'm giving up for now. Uh, all right, I'll be right back with uh, Hell Divers 2. See y'all soon. Can you hear me now? Your call goes through. Can you hear me now? Good. Verizon Wireless. We never stop working for you. Yippee-ki-yay, Mr. Falcon. How long has it been since your mom's fixed jello pudding for you? A long time ago. How long? A long, long time ago. But she knows it's good for you, right? Uh -huh. And uh -huh. she knows that you love it, right? Uh -huh. Well, maybe she forgot. Maybe I should remind her. Moms, you know how the kids love Jello pudding, and you know it's made with fresh milk, so it's wholesome. And you haven't made Jello pudding for them since last night. Last what? <laughs> kids love Jello brand pudding. Remember. More power to you, okay? Thanks a lot, Lee. Take care, man. I like that. Weeder, America's total fitness company. Makers of nutrition. Welcome to Lee Haney's Championship Workout. Come on, come on. Come <laughs> on. 
谷崎俊これは友人の詩なんですがちょっと季節外れかなという感じもしますが7月の中旬から後半にかけて各地で花火大会よく行われましたしかし線香花火これはなんだか夏の始まり序曲のようでもありまた夏の終わりエピローグのようでもあります8月もいよいよ中旬夏も終わりに近づいてきましたそれではゆっくりお休みなさい Since I've hell dived, I'm excited to get into it again. And I'm going to get on the horn with Bruce, who I think is probably in the middle of a dive. Let me check his stream out real quick. Looks like they're doing hostages. I'm going to join their call. Super Earth. Hey, Bruce. Our home. How was that Kojima cutscene? Oh, very long and touching. <laughs> Did you learn anything about love or, or the battlefield?、Uh, I learned that Snake is a pretty bad guy and that. <laughs> Wait, Mer what? Meryl has feelings for him still.、Oh. Wait, which one were you playing? Metal Gear Solid. The original, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. The, re the, like, the I, new release just... of it. I just played that. That's the one I think would say, can you. What does he say? Can, do you think love can bloom on the battlefield or whatever the fuck? Yeah, hell yeah.、Oh、Holy shit. shit. Well, do you? That might be one of the most ridiculous lines I've ever seen in anything. Oh, Metal Gear Solid is filled with just completely <laughs> absurd lines. I know. Oh I my、it. gosh. <laughs> I love it. It's the best. <laughs> the best. Yeah, Meryl underwent like psychic training to kill her interest in men, but apparently that's not true because Snake is just that hardcore. Oh my gosh.、He's, do you see him with his shirt off? He looks great. Oh yeah. Oh man. And his like his <laughs> battle armor has 14 rows of abs. It's incredible. <laughs> Pinnacle man. Well, let me.、Uh, we just wrapped up, so it's perfect timing. And then. Free up a space. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I was I was curious what aspects of the game would stand out to me replaying it now, because it's been、uh, a decade more since I played it. And I'm seeing a lot of, like, camera techniques in that game. The,、hmm. the, like, 3D engine they have, they actually have some, like, depth of, some really basic depth of field effects. They even have some like camera, camera focus lens effects in some of those cutscenes. And those are pretty, were pretty genuinely new at the time. I mean, like two years later, and they were everywhere. So I think maybe that, that's, that part doesn't seem so exceptional now. But. Well, no,、yeah. but I still think the gameplay. I still think the gameplay. <clears throat> Metal Gear Solid. I thought the gameplay was wonky but innovative. Whereas in Metal Gear Solid 2, <laughs> I immediately got it. I was like. Oh. Two, two felt to me a little more like, I was like, oh, okay, this feels like, like modern games. But Metal Gear Solid was like, I don't know what I was, I didn't know what I was doing. It's that, yeah, it's that, it's that awkward half, half step game where、yeah. it did a lot of、yeah. stuff right, but didn't quite have the benefit of everyone iterating on that for like five or six years. But yeah, Solid 2 had, had everything locked in. All right. Good time for a gamer、space. stretch. Sorry, Con. Sorry, Con. Thank you, Con. Hop on in here. And then, I, as always, it's、uh, wide open to,、uh, to your chat or whoever wants to join. Sure. Just realize we're not, we're not in game friends. That's weird. This doesn't really matter. Coordinates received. Oh, that is weird. I'm、huh. making a ton of frames. Yeah, what's going on? Hold on.、Uh, I have to stop streaming to Twitch for a second. But I'll be right back. 
love this armor you got on, man. It's, it's so cool. Thank you. I'm having... Sorry, I'm just having a weird... Weird tech problem. Oh, okay. Yeah, figured, uh, no rush. Figure it out. How weird. Yeah, one of the... <laughs> one of my settings is just completely slaughtering my PC right now. Is anything else... Nothing else is running, is it? Hopefully that is less angry. Yeah, while, while I was playing Metal Gear Solid, it seemed to be putting a pretty heavy strain on my PC, so I couldn't tell what the heck was going on. Metal Gear Solid was putting a strain <laughs> yeah. on Yeah. What the heck? It seemed like it. Okay, okay, well, that's that seems better. Hmm. Okay, all right. Sorry about that. Uh, don't worry about it. It's okay. Um, one all right. Let's see. Let's do this this one with Lawrence. Let's see if we can do the new, new mission type with Lawrence. Oh, there's a new mission type? There's a new mission type, and it's like basically like a tower defense. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's like a. Whereas before, when you felt like there was a tower defense with this, you know, like uh, dropships would come in anywhere. In this one, they come in kind of only through one choke point, so it's really fun. Oh, man, so they just all pile up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. What the heck? Uh oh. Yeah, my PC is still losing oh, its good. mind. Yeah, what piece? Oh. Here, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I won't start until you uh, get it figured out. I might have to reboot my PC. I don't know what's going on. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, totally fine. Mm, okay, I think I I think I figured out what it is. Um, I don't think I have to. Okay, I don't think I have to restart, but I do have to stop streaming for a second. So I'll be right back. Everyone on the internet, I I can stay on the call though, so that's cool. Oh yeah, that's true. Think about that. Sometimes that happens to me with, uh, I think you're using OBS, but like OBS will just randomly start sucking everything up and you have to stop it. Yeah, I, 